Hey everyone, I'm back with another video and this today we're going to be doing a, another automation using active pieces. We're going to look into generating a PDF from that we received from Google Drive and we're going to convert that text file into a PDF. So the main flow that's going to happen is when someone add a text file to the Google Drive, we're going to download that text. We then are going to read that file from Google Drive and then we're going to use some coding and we have some subroutines that we're going to be doing in inside the code to perform those actions. So the first thing that we're going to do is convert text to PDF, then generate a random file name so that we can use it later on when we upload to Google Drive. And lastly, and lastly, we're going to upload to a temporary AWS S3 bucket. We're also going to use this random file name to generate the file so it's, everything's unique. So we have a history of the files that was generated. So once we've completed everything that we've done here in the code, we're then going to take the, the S3 link that we received from the S3 and then we're going to upload it to Google Drive. And then that's going to be the end of the, the flow for automation. All right, so before we go ahead and do the actual automation, we're going to go to S3 in Amazon and create a new bucket. Uh, we're going to make this a publicly available uh, bucket so that we can access it from active pieces. And one thing that we're also going to do is go to management and create a lifecycle rule so that we can delete all the PDF that was uploaded here after a day. And then we can just basically use this as a temporary placeholder or the PDF that we're going to be uploading to Google PDF. Okay, the next step that we're going to be doing here is to create an access key that we can use for the uploading of the PDF to S3. So we can do that by going to your settings, go to users, access management, and then create an access key here. And this will give you an access key ID and a secret key that you can use or the steps in the audit. Okay, one more step before we actually do the automation. We're going to go to our Google Drive and create a folder. I'm going to name my folder transcripts. And inside that folder is going to be another directory. It's going to be called PDF, where we're going to actually store the PDF that was converted from the text that we uploaded in the beginning. So the transcripts is going to be where the, uh, the text files are going to be uploaded. And the PDF is where the output uh, PDF generation was created. Is gonna all right now we can start our automation we're gonna go to active pieces we're gonna start from scratch and we're gonna select a trigger so the trigger that we're interested in is in the Google Google Drive and we're gonna select the new file trigger and we're gonna select the existing connection that we have I'm gonna go ahead it's gonna load the directories that's available for us so we're gonna go ahead and select transcripts and we can go ahead and load the data. I dropped in a, a sample TXT file in that directory that we have. And from what you can see here, it loaded the data and we get the MIME type and the name of the file that we have and including the ID. So now we can go move. Okay, we're gonna add a new step in this. I'm gonna do another Google Drive. And this time we're gonna be reading the file that we received from the previous step. We're going to grab the file ID, which is the ID. And then the destination file name is going to be the same thing. So we're going to use the ID. And then we're going to do testing here. So we can test out the next step. And then we're going to see that it was uploaded to this temporary URL that ActivePiece has generated. And then we can go ahead and read that file. So we're going to switch to all to core. And we're going to go ahead and go and get the file solver. From here, we can read the file. And we can use the file that was available from us from the second step, which is from the active pieces. And then we know for a fact that we're going to get a text. So that's what we're going to get. And we're going to do a test here. And you can see here, you can see the test data that came back. It's for getting the text, the hello world, and then a few line breaks in between, some text. All right. So now we're ready to add the code into this process. We're going to go ahead and set it up. And we're going to go to core. And we're going to go to code and then we're going to name uh, the key to content. So this is the, uh, the variable that we're going to be passed in in the code so that we can read the content. So we're going to insert the text and then we can just jump. 
Okay, if you've never used code before in active places, the way it works is you have this constant that's being exported. It's called code, and you take in an input, which is you, the thing that you can define up here, and then you can return anything. So this one, we're going to uh, return a true by default, and we can expand on this by clicking on this full screen button over here, and you can see all the different things that you're working with, starting with the dot index.typescript file and the package.json, which is going to contain the dependencies that we're going to be using for our code. So the first thing that we're going to do is to add an npm package here. So we're going to be adding a PDF kit, which is just going to be a library that we're going to be using to convert the text to PDF. So we're going to add that. And then the next thing that we're going to be adding is the AWS SDK, which is to basically communicate with S, S3 bucket and upload the temporary file that we're going to be using. And then the next one is the UUID, which is what we're going to be using to generate a file name that's unique uh, to S3. Uh, it's just completely optional, but just to, uh, just to demonstrate, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to be using these three libraries. Okay. We're going to switch back to index.ts. So I'm going to, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of code involved in this. I'm going to just copy the code and I'm going to walk you through guys what the code does so you can understand what's, what's going on here. So we're doing an import for, from, a, for a few things. So one is for the file system and the second is the PDF document, AWS and V4 from UUID. So the top here is going to be the actual library that we're going to be using. The next block of code here is to set up the configuration so that we can communicate to S3. Like I previously mentioned, you need the access key ID, a secret access key, and then the region where your S3 bucket has been created. So in, in my case, that's US-West-1. And then the final code block here is to configure our AWS SDK for this particular con All right, so I'm going to be adding a few more constants on the top. So I'm going to name this the S3 bucket. This is the name of your S3 bucket that you're going to be using. The output path is a name that you want to call. You can name it whatever you want. It's basically the output path where the PDF is going to live and it's going to live essentially on the same directory where this code is running. So the main thing that we're going to be doing here is to grab the content that we're passing in from the file that we we read from the Google Drive. So we're going to define a, a constant name content on the top. And then I'm going to be copying and pasting here a piece of code block. I'm explaining what it does. So we're defining an async function called get PDF from HTML. It accepts a content of type string and promise of void. So it doesn't return anything. Void means it's not returning anything. So we're creating at line 23 is we're instantiating a new doc, which is a new instance of PDF document. And the next code block is we're defining where the output path is going to be for this document. Uh, that's where we're piping it here. And as far as the content is concerned, we're passing it as part of this, uh, this parameter. And we're going to split this on the line breaks, right? So we're going to go ahead and do a for loop for each paragraph that we receive based, based on the line breaks termination and we're going to create a doc.txt and we're going to add the content in here i'm going to define the the width and the alignment to the left and we're going to be moving down so that the next piece of paragraph that comes in is going to go to the next one and then lastly we're going to terminate that doc by calling that doc.end and that final is the pdf document so it's pretty much ready for consumption and then the last thing we're going to read, go ahead and read the, the file stream and, and uh, basically output the PDF to the. Okay. Another function that we're going to be using, I'm going to be pasting here is the upload to S3, which is also an async function. And this time it's going to be returning a, an object that has location as a string and a key as a string. And we're, that's what we're going to be using on the next step when we actually uh, upload to Google Drive. So we're going to be using those locations. So the first line here, line 48, is we're defining, we're creating a new instance of the AWS S3 from the SDK. 
And then line 51 here, we're creating a new GUID, um, the V4. This is just a random GUID that we, we're going to be using. We're going to name this key.pdf. This is for the blob storage. All right. So we're going to create a new uh, upload parameters that we're going to be using. We're going to be using S3 bucket that was defined on the top of this, uh, this file. And then the key and then the body. The body is we're going to be reading the output path where a PDF was stored locally. Um, early, from earlier step. And then inside, we're going to be creating a try catch here. So anything that happens in this block of code is basically just going to go here and then we can output the message and then we can, we can rethrow that exception. So what we're doing here is to uh, create a data constant and then we're, we're going to upload the, uh, the, using the parameter that we, we define above. And then we're going to call that promise to make this awaitable. All right, so we're going to store the result into a data. And then if everything succeeds, it's going to go to this line. If, if there's an exception involved, it's going to go to this, to this line. I'm going to store the location, which is the coming from the data. And then the key is the actual uh, key, which is the file name that we used in the previous step. So we're going to retur be returning this when this uh, upload to S3. Okay. So the last thing what we're going to be doing here is to go up where the code is on the top. Instead of returning true, we're going to paste in some code here. So essentially what we're doing here is we're going to call the get P, uh, PDF from HTML first. We're going to pass in the content that was received. So essentially we're going to pass in the text that we want to generate here. And I'm going to do some formatting here by right-clicking format documents. It looks nice and pretty. So we're going to wait this since we're not returning anything. We're just going to call it and await it. And then once it's done, uh, PDF is in the local directory that we have. And then we're then going to call this upload to S3, which is basically reads that file that we uploaded into the local directory and returns uh, the result of that call. So in our case, we're going to be returning the location and the key. And that's going to be, this is it for this function or for the code. All right. We can then go ahead, either test this code or we can just close this. And we can just test this step uh, here from the bottom. It takes a little bit of time as you have to install some dependencies and then do its thing. But once it's done, it's going to give you the location like we have it. So this is the publicly available S3 uh, URL that where we can get the actual PDF. And then this is the key, what, how we name the file name. So we're going to use this on the next steps so that we can upload to. Okay. This is the last step. We're going to be adding a Google Drive step. We're, we're going to go to all and then we're going to. Look for Google Drive over here. And then we're going to, instead of uh, reading a file, we're going to upload a file. <clears throat> we're going to be using the connection. And now we're ready to upload that file to Google Drive. So we're going to add a new block here. And we're going to search for Google Drive. And for actions, we're going to upload a file. And we're going to use the same connections. And our file name is going to be a uh, key that we, re we generated from the previous step. We're going to pass it right here. And the file itself is going to be the location of the S3. It's going to be reading this file. And then we're going to uh, put that in the PDF folder. And once we do that, we're going to do a test over here on the bottom. And that should give you a 200 or test it successfully here. It'll give you the ID and the okay, we can go ahead and go back to Google Drive and underneath the transcript directory, we're going to go to our PDF and we're going to open up the file. As so you can see here, the text, the PDF that was to be generated from the beginning, and it's here, and it's done. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my, my YouTube channel. And if there's anything that you want to see in the future, future videos, tutorials, uh, leave a comment, and see you later. Bye.